Hi, I'm here with John Pytel, founder of Conferences I O. John, if you can please introduce your company for me. Sure. So, my company is called Conferences I O, and what it is is a, a mobile application that is used during conferences, uh, events, and meetings to improve audience participation and engagement. So, when you're at you know a conference or, or a meeting and you're in a session or a presentation, you want to be able to interact, right? That makes things much more exciting and much more engaging for you. But unfortunately, there uh, are very limited ways for, for the audience to do this. So with Conferences I.O., uh, they're able to use their, their mobile device, their smartphone, tablet, laptop, um, and, and do a few different things like ask questions, um, respond to polls, uh, and even fill out uh, evaluation surveys so that the overall experience uh, is much more valuable to them because they're able to be you know, more involved than just sitting back and, and listening to a presentation. Cool. And what gave you the idea to start this company? So the original idea actually started uh, for us when we were in college uh, and we were in large you know, lecture halls. And we saw that no one ever you know, wanted to raise their hand and ask a question. Um, even though everyone had questions, no one ever wanted to, to you know, interrupt or speak in front of everyone. Uh, so that's where the original idea came from. And then uh, as we've kind of progressed, uh, we've adapted the product to be uh, kind of optimized for the, the conference and meeting market. Cool. And how do you advance your business using technology? So... I think that our product or our, our technology actually advances uh, a lot of other people's businesses or you know, all of our customers' businesses because um, everyone, you know, nearly everyone has some sort of like smart device these days. Um, and over the next few years, it's going to be just the standard. And so th these devices are insanely powerful. Um, and Conferences I.O. allows them to leverage you know, these powerful devices that everyone already has in order to create uh, a greater experience. Um, so, so our technology itself is actually kind of designed to advance uh, everyone else's business. Great, great. And, you know, operations-wise within your company, are there any ways that you use technology to advance your product? Sure. So, so we're a, we're a web-based um, application. Um, so, we leverage the uh, you know, technology of mobile devices and the internet in general uh, through everything that we do in terms of products. Uh, and of course, we leverage um, all sorts of different technology in terms of online marketing. So, so it's very prevalent in our company, and we you know, leverage it in a number of different ways. Great. And what are some tactics that you use to push your company forward in the first month of operation? So some things that we've done to push our company forward uh, is really using the power of, uh, of referrals <clears throat> and kind of word of mouth. So when someone uses our product at, at a meeting or at an event um, and they get a, you know, a ton of value from it and it, it's made their experience uh, greater for everyone involved, oh, it's very likely that they'll be willing to you know, refer us to, to one of their colleagues or someone else who kind of shares the same problems as them. So that's been a really effective way for us to, to kind of move forward and start gaining traction right out of the gate. As a startup, we always say we're different, we're better than our competitors. What really makes your company unique? So what makes us uh, really unique is the fact that we are completely web-based. So in the audience response system market, or the competitive place, um, most of the, the competition is centered around these hardware-based devices. So they actually hand out this little plastic uh, piece of hardware to the audience, and they're able to use that to interact. Uh, we've taken that technology and improved it by allowing them to do that through their phones or their iPads. Um, so the, the hardware-based system is kind of obsolete or 
out of date and it's got limited functionality. Um, so by transitioning that to the uh, mobile devices and being web-based, um, we've really differentiated ourselves in terms of the value that we can provide uh, because the, the features and the functionality are, are so much greater in terms of the opportunities, uh, which what you can do with something that's web-based uh, in comparison to a clicker that has, you know, phones. Great. And John, I have one last question for you. Tell me your predictions for your company in the next year. All right. So it's hard to predict what's you know actually going to play out, but our focus is going to be on uh, sales and and getting exposure to you know new customers and new potential customers. So if I had to make a prediction, uh, I would say that uh, our sales uh, and customer base are are going to grow uh, at a really nice rate. Great. You talk about sales. Tell me, are there any avenues you plan on? Uh, going down any routes you plan on taking specifically to increase sales? So, one potential route we've explored a little bit already uh, that's been valuable to us but that we have an opportunity to do more uh, is through finding different distribution channels uh, who already have access you know, to, a, to a large customer base. Um, so whether those are like you know, meeting event planners um, or some sort of companies that, that offer a, a related product uh, to the same customers, uh, partnering with those those different people or organizations um, and, and kind of using them as, as distribution channels to, to get access to, to customers that they already have relationships with. Great, great. All right, John. Well, I thank you so much for meeting with me, and I really wish you luck with this next year, and I really hope you complete those sales goals. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about Conferences.io and connecting with John Pytel, head to Fundology.com.